good, YouTube people? What's going on? Um, so, yeah, I really didn't have any major plans for a video today. So I thought I would talk about Google Fi, just to reiterate some things. And just generally, just tell you guys my experience with Google Fi so far that, you know, I've had them for a couple of years now. Um, honestly, you know, just being straight up with you guys, I really don't see myself moving to, like, other carriers. I think I'm pretty much spoiled with Google Fi. Like, I'm really spoiled by them. Uh, reason I'm saying that is, like, yes, I know there's different companies that give you, like, different perks, right? Like, if you go to Metro PCS, you did get, like, Amazon Prime. Um, I think you get, like, Hulu with Sprint. And, and you know, there's just, there's just so many different things, options out there based upon the type of person you are. And I think for me, Google Fi fits so much with it. It's just because of the fact that, you know, it alleviates a lot of the problems of having to do sim card switches i hate having to do that i hate having to pop out a sim card and put it in a different phone and you know all, all that all that ruckus that comes with that so you know with, with google fi you can have multiple data only sim cards which you know let's face it a lot of things today basically revolves around data right even phone calls and um and text messaging is is being pushed towards data right we, we're on the we're on the cusp of rcs I mean, which is rich communication services the replacement to standard text messaging that has been around since 1992 or 94 yeah 1994 sms came out and rcs is is, is bound to replace that um and, and it's a great thing trust me you guys want rcs okay it's it's so it's so the experience is so much better but everything's going data so you know having one main line with google Fi in my Pixel 3, which allows, you know, the smart switching between Sprint, T-Mobile, and U.S. Cellular. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, you know, like, like I have one photo. I don't have to keep taking the SIM card out of it because I have multiple. I think, like, right now I have, like, six data-only SIM cards. Two of them are which, you know, they're they're in my, my son's phones. Since they don't really do phone calls or text messages, they use Google Voice for that. Or they, they like to call me on, on Instagram and Instagram messages. So yeah, that alleviates that, right? And and it's all being it's all being pulled by my my main account, my main line's data, right? It counts against that. It's not like a separate bill that I have to pay or a separate add-on I have to pay on. You know, that's something that I think is very generous of Google and Google Fi to be doing, to be allowing people to do that. Because you know, they, they they could tack on a fee. They could tack on like a ten dollar activation fee for a data only SIM card, or they could tack on a you know like a five dollar fee just for having you know. Um, another SIM card pulling data from your 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 main line, but they don't. They don't do any of that, which is like awesome. That's completely awesome. Um, so any device that I get that I want to review, if I pick up any phones to review that interests me, I don't have to pop out my SIM card and put it into that phone. You know, so I can basically keep a main line and then have a data line. And um, if I want, you know, like to review a phone, I can just put that, that, that data SIM into that phone and review it and not have to worry about having to pop SIM cards out of my phone and, you know, activating it on another phone or any of that stuff, right? It just makes it so much easier. As far as creating a family plan, if you want to do that, you can have like two main lines, right? You can have one for yourself. You can have one for your spouse. And then you can have data-only SIM cards for your kids since, again, most kids today really don't do a lot of, you know, um, talk or text. They do more data stuff. It saves a lot on that. So anyways, yeah, just, you know, by those things is why I enjoy Google Fi. Um, the fact also having, having three different carriers that you can connect to when you need to, that helps out quite a bit. Sure, it's very limited as far as using Google Fi with the, the smart switch. But you can use any phone on Google Fi. It's just if it's not a Fi capable phone, it will utilize T-Mobile's network. So again, not a huge, not a not a huge, you know, like caveat to it. I guess you would say. All in all, definitely, in my opinion, would recommend Google Fi. Um, this pretty much just recommend Google Fi. This it, it it works. And the biggest thing is, is that when you're outside the country. It still works. So, being with Google Fi for the past couple of years now, you know what? Like, I, I, it's hard to see myself going anywhere else with like the perks that I'm getting with it. And then, of course, obviously, if you're on the unlimited plan that's seventy dollars a month, then you also get uh, Google One with that. So that means that you get, you know, more storage added on uh, to your cloud storage. 
and you also get the perks of like you know hotel discounts and things like that too as well that comes with their unlimited plan which I'm finally happy that Google Fi has an unlimited plan um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys just a quick little vlog here Monday I really didn't have any major plans for video so I just figured I'd just talk to you guys a little bit about Google Fi and so if you guys have any questions that you guys want to ask about Google Fi please do so in the comment section of the video drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's video and if you just found my channel and you subscribe thank you so much for doing so hit the uh, bell icon to be notified when I upload more videos in the future that is it for right now guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys back here on Friday and as always, law.